But something that always catches on is Mark's cooking, and you've got a Chinese takeaway classic that we're going to be making from scratch today. Yeah, that's it. We're going to make some uh, prawn wontons. We've got a nice chilli dressing in there, and we've got some of this beautiful Szechuan mm. peppercorns. So we're going to make a Szechuan salt. Brilliant. Garnet. Really simple, really great fun to do in the kitchen, and very, very, very tasty. Nice work. Mm. Can't wait. Crispy, tasty wontons right here in the Beko kitchen. Cannot, wa cannot wait to see how to make these a little later on, because usually I just buy them. <laughs> great to have you with us. We are in the Beko kitchen, and Mark, we've got a Chinese takeaway favourite that we're going to make at home. Much better when you make it yourself at home. Prawn wontons. So, what's the secret? Flavour. Okay, good. So we need to get lots of flavour into that. And we're going to use, uh, we've got these dumpling wrappers. Yes. All right, so we're going to use, we're going to make our wontons out of those. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit of a different shape, but we're going to cook it so they're going to make like, so they're like little dumplings, pretty nice. much the same. Okay, and great. And I've also got some of this wrapper here. Oh, the nice. spring roll wrapper. Oh, okay. So yes. they are a little bit different, so you don't really want to use that for the cooking, but you can bake these. Okay, So great. we're going to do two different types. All oh, right, a healthy soft version. and crispy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's get into it. What do we right, need to so do first? Right, so we're going to make a, a Szechuan salt first so okay. I've, got a, I've got a pan on there medium yep. heat put Sweet. your peppercorns in there mm -hmm. you can toast them get all the flavors up okay and then pop them in here yep. with some salt and then just grind it together okay cool how long will these take not long uh, how do you know when yeah. they're cooked uh, <laughs> even though I've done them a hundred times before <laughs> here in the Beko kitchen every time. how do I know when they're cooked just before they start <laughs> burning they exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> right and then we're, I'm gonna make the mix for the um, prawn wontons so pretty much you know you can put whatever filling you want into these. So, you know, you can have a bit of fun. Any any favourite flavours, um, any proteins, you know, you can do this with chicken or beef or pork or, you know, just get some mince, flavour it up. Yep. But today we're going to use um, prawns. Yep. So we've got these prawn cutlets here. So take the shells off. Um, you know, you can, you can buy them in the freezer department now, so defrost them. Make sure they're dry though, get them really dry and then just sort of roughly chop them. And you want to chop them, I mean, not too fine, but you know, not too chunky because you, you're only going to put a little bit of uh, mixture in here, and okay. the, and the sort of, you know, the, the the smaller you sort of chop it, the easier it is going to be to mould. Right, so you, you don't know? want them like mince. No, 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 you, know, you still want a little, little bit, of little bit a little bit of texture mince. in there. Yep. Yeah, okay, and, cool. and as you sort of chop it down, you'll see it sort of sticks together a little bit more, which will help you. Okay, great. Yeah. So just going to chop this, and then we've got some flavours which we're going to put in. So you've got some soy, sesame oil, some spring onions, and Jesse will be happy with this recipe because there's no, no coriander. coriander. Yeah. I know. Jesse is what, Barista is one of those guys that doesn't like coriander. That's interesting because, you know, it's in a lot of food, isn't it, coriander? It's, it's in a, a, lot, lot, of in a lot of my food. <laughs> that's, why, that's why Jesse's so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the secret, the coriander diet. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right, so you're just going to season this up a little bit. Right, I think. Um, some sesame oil in there. Yeah, a little bit of soy. You reckon these are done? Um, yeah, yeah, beautiful, okay, good. You so can smell it, smell it, and then you yeah. really saw those flavours. Um, and I've just got some um, of the wine, the Chinese cooking wine as well, mm -hmm. in there. So all those flavours, just and you just want enough in just to flavour it. You don't want it sort of sitting in too much liquid, you know. So that's plenty what we've got in there. Okay, good. And it's always a good idea if you make this ahead of time. So get all your liquids in there, give it a good stir around, and then pop it back in the fridge. You know, it'll do two things. It'll flavour the prawn meat, and it'll also um, firm up, so it'll make it a little bit easier to um, mould when we mould it. It's got a little bit of spring onion, so really fine slices. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, looking forward to our knife skills session coming up. Do, do, do I have to teach you? Yeah, yeah, you do. But the see, and Mal, you can teach Mal oh, as well. God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I guess, I guess the secret to a good knife cutting skill is actually having a sharp knife, which is something a lot of us fail to do at home. It is, it is. So we'll Did you bring your steel in? I brought my steel in. I found it at the bottom of the drawer next to the scissors. It's never been used in 17 years. <laughs> it's brand new. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Still got the price tag on it. It's only $1.95 17 years ago, wow, that steel. Wow, it's a yeah. bargain. Okay. Right, so now we've got some ginger. This is so you can chop it up if you want, but it's really good if you grate it, you know. Get all the flavour out there and the juices. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. You happy? And you taste that? Yeah, look at this. Okay, cool. Do you want me to taste it? Yeah, you taste okay, it. Okay, cool. And then, uh, you know, so you'll, so you'll, well, you'll have a flavoured salt. Mm, that's good. Yeah, yeah heaps really of flavour. Nice. So use, uh, use a little bit of that salt as well to um, season the prawns. Okay. And then like a so dash. We, yeah. Enough. Yeah, a little, little bit more. Okay, cool. Yeah, just a touch. Um, give it a good stir. As I said, 
chuck it in the fridge, set it up a little bit, and then we can build our um, wontons. OK, cool. Well, we'll come back and we will see that very soon, how to build your wontons. Welcome back to the Beko kitchen, and we're making prawn wontons. So we've made our mixture, now it's time to make the actual wontons. So let's get to right, it. Show me, the, show right. me, chef. Right, so we got our, we got our pastry, so it's defrosted, it's all there. Mm -hmm. And then get a little bit of your prawn mix, pop it in the middle. OK. And then a little bit of water just on the outside, so that's going to help stick and seal. Yes. And then what we're going to do is just go it over. OK, cool. And just make sure you've got a really good seal, make sure there's no air bubbles in there. OK. And there <clears> you go. Look at that. Brilliant. So we can leave it like that. So these little dumplings, or we can start folding it up, or we can, you know, we can have a have a nice bit of fun with this, you know, any any different shapes. Oh, look at you, fancy. Yeah, look at that. Right. Okay, cool. And I'm going to do some, uh, so that's obviously with a round one. Now we've got a square one. We'll just mm -hmm. trim it off. Um, pretty much we do the same, but we're going to fold the corners. So we could potentially put this in soup even, couldn't we? Well, yeah, no, definitely. The, the dumpling ones, you can do soup. So yeah. we're just going to cook them in some boiling water. Yeah. But you could, uh, you know, you can make a nice... Um, broth or a dashi or anything and then oh, just brilliant. cook them in there and okay. it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Okay. All right, so same again, take all your air out, make sure it's all stuck yep. and then you can fold them over and then uh, fold them around like that and then you get these nice oh, little uh, nice little packages. Great, okay cool. So you just carry on making lots because there's lots of lots of people here. Okay, there are a few people you. here. Right, yes. and then we're going to make a really quick um, chilli dressing. Oh sorry, I'm just going to... Uh, or just spray an oven tray, and then, so this pastry, oh, that's nice. That's a nice little package, isn't it? <laughs> I don't have to do them, I don't have to do them like that the whole way, though, do I? No, can no, I mix just them up? In half, I can do yeah, dumpling yeah. styles? If it makes it faster. Okay. So <laughs> this pastry is like the spring roll pastry, so we're going to pop this on a, just a grease board, and we're going to pop that in a hot oven so they go nice and crispy. These ones, with the pastry, what Mike's doing, the round ones, we're just, just going to pop them in some boiling salted water for about two, three minutes, and that's it, and drain them, and then we're going to put a dressing over it. We're going to make the dressing now. Yep. Okay, good. So this is a healthy version, isn't it? Because we're not deep frying. We're uh, we're baking. Well, we are boiling. baking. Yeah. You, but you can deep fry these if you want. Or that's yeah. that's what you get them in the uh, supermarket. Right. So we've got some rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, a little bit of sugar to balance, chili flakes, and I'm going to dice some ch uh, fresh chili in there as well, and then a good pinch to season as well, and to get that Szechuan flavour in the uh, Szechuan salt in there. Look at that, beautiful. I know, I'm trying to get fancy and put little sort of frilly things in it. It's not working though. It's like a Chinese Cornish pasty. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's your, a compliment. That's when you, that's when you, yes, when you're making them from home, you can just have your own fun, can't you? But you know, at the end of the day, it might not look pretty, but it's going to taste, taste great. Amazing. Yeah. It's going to taste amazing. And of course, you can get the recipe if you need this at thecafe.co.nz. Oh, that sauce has come up really good. So, that's that's it. so it's really fast. Um, good idea to do it about, you know, half an hour, an hour, even a couple of days before, and you'll get all that flavour of the chilli into, uh, into the dressing. And nice. make a big batch, keep it in the back of the fridge, you put it on everything. Brilliant. Can't wait to see the finished product, which we will do very soon. OK, can we ditch the takeaway? And <laughs> check oh, look at this. Yeah. You can. And I can confirm they taste so much better than takeaway. Oh, good. <laughs> No, trust you.